What are you doing? Why are you under the blanket? Did I put you under the blanket? Ooh, yeah, you're a good kitty, aren't you? Mmm, <sighs> guys. Hello, hello, hello. It's Kaylin, your friendly YouTube video creator. <laughs> and Finn. Finn's here too. I can't do anything by myself, can I? You always gotta be involved. <sighs> well, guys, what happens if you don't make a video? That's what my therapist asked me this week because I was really stressed out because last week I didn't make a video because it was Thanksgiving and I was like, well, it's a holiday. That makes sense that I would skip it. And I kind of thought that I would have more time to put out the video that I had planned for last week for this week. But basically what happened was I just had a really good time over Thanksgiving and didn't do video like filmmaking. Actually, I haven't filmed a video since the 4th of November. I've been kind of burnt out. This happens to me a lot. I get to the end of the year and I am a little tired of making videos. Hi, Finn. <laughs> it's difficult to explain because, like, I love making videos. I love having a YouTube channel. I love having a creative outlet outside of my job because my job I make videos too but I don't have full creative control over it the way I do with my YouTube channel. So basically my therapist was asking like well, what happens if you don't make a video? You know is like someone going to punish you if you don't make a video and it's like well no. You know are you gonna lose subscribers? Well not, not really. I mean I've had such slow subscriber growth over the last two years really that nothing that I seem to do really makes a difference. The thing for me is that making videos and making videos consistently is kind of my only creative outlet right now. Um, I used to do so many creative things. I was always painting and sketching and doing like mixed media art. I was writing like poems and uh, writing a book. Um, just, I felt like I was always bursting with creative ideas and Sometimes I feel like adulthood has killed my creativity and so then making videos is kind of my last like vestige and I feel like if I stop doing that even for like a week or two just because I'm tired and I need a break or I don't know I just I don't know if it's me in my head reprimanding me for like why didn't you plan well enough or if it's that I hear all the like creators on YouTube who like their content is essentially telling you how to do well on YouTube and grow your channel um which I, I honestly just I know they do really good work but I I can't watch them anymore I can like watch like one or two videos on a very specific topic but I can't consistently watch them because I just feel like it hurts my soul <laughs> a little bit <laughs> because I just feel like they're telling me everything you're doing is wrong and you're never going to be like worthwhile at all. All of this is basically just a reflection on, I don't even know, hustle culture. I write about that a lot on my blog, which I haven't been writing on that since like October either. Basically life has just been, well, okay, let me be really honest. Like work life has been stressful. My freelance life has been stressful, but like the one thing that was really awful for me last year, which was like my relational life and like relationships with my family and friends and then like romantic relationships, it was rough, 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 rough last year. And that's like kind of the one thing that's been good this year. Like I went on a beach trip, a week long beach trip with my family, which was really nice. I actually went on a trip with my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. Uh, which I guess I'm telling you that now. Like I have all these photos of us together and like my best friend Alana is like, you need to post pictures of you on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I wanna do it, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah, I have a boyfriend and I'm, it's still weird kind of saying that. Um, I kind of wanna make a video talking about that too, but that's sort of separate, separate thoughts. Anyway, I've been doing lots of fun things. Um, so like things overall are not actually that bad. Um, just I'm stressed about work, which really what that boils down to is I have less free time to 
think about and work on YouTube videos and trying to figure out how that kind of like new normal is going to be for me. But I will say I have lots of videos planned for uh, December. I have three, maybe four Christmas videos. However many uh, Thursdays there are in December before Christmas. I don't even know off the top of my head anymore. I think it's just three. For this week, I toyed around with the idea of not posting a video at all. And then I was like, I'll do a live stream. Um, and I started researching that. And basically I wanted to do a live stream that was more complicated than three days worth of prep time were going to give me. And not even like three days worth. It was like, maybe I had five hours because I work a full day and then I come home and I have to do like, I had, like I'm back from vacation. So I have to like grocery shop and clean and like, actually here, let me show you. <laughs> This is my office currently, which is, here's my Christmas stuff and my camera stuff. Here's some more Christmas stuff. It's just a wreck where I'm gonna decorate up here like I did for Halloween. And uh, there's like, I don't even know what's happening. Like Rudolph is dead on the floor and some boxes over here with winter clothes. And there's Finn. What are you doing? What are you doing? That, that's not. That's not a bed right there. What are you doing? Oh no, wait a second. You can't stop that. You're gonna cause a fire. Get down. Please? No, oh my goodness. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Okay, guess that's just where you're gonna sit then. You crazy. You know that? Yeah, you are. <sighs> okay, I'm also dealing with that, so. That also takes up a fair amount of my mental space to make sure that he doesn't hurt himself, burn down my house, break anything. It's like having a toddler sometimes. So, yeah, life is crazy, but in, in good ways. Some bad, but mostly good ways. Um, and it's difficult for me to not post a video. My therapist and I talk a lot about boundaries because I have to be better at setting them. I'm much better than I was a long time ago, but I, it's still not great. I think one of my issues too is having boundaries with my work and not just like the work I'm paid for, but also the, you know, the work I do on YouTube and I can't get myself worth from what I do. It's who I am. Like when you meet new people, they don't ask you who you are. They ask you, well, what do you do? Uh, and they mean like, what's your job? They're not asking like, what's your hobbies and your free time? Well, thanks for listening to me talk about stuff and being extra real with you. Hopefully some of it made sense. I'll probably edit this video and be like, this is terrible. What are you doing? I'm trying, I'm learning, I'm growing. There is no stopping any of those things. You don't just, you don't reach a stopping point, I guess. Now we got a kitty down here. What you doing? See his toys, how he pulls them all out. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. I have to end this video. <laughs> um, if you want to give me some video ideas, make sure that you submit this uh, nice little form over here on my website. Um, that's always super helpful. Whether it's just a general idea or it's a question you wanna ask, um, I may make a video or I may write a blog. And if you're watching this video and you haven't already, but you want to continue this journey with me, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know the moment there's a new video. Plus there's all these other social media sites that you can check me out on. Instagram is probably where I post most regularly. I've been doing stories more recently. Hey, um, try and try and that thing out and giving you more of a slice of life bit, which is like 75% pictures of my cat, which is that, cause that a bad thing. Anyway, I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>